Mike sent me a video of that Kai dude that be streaming or whatever. And uh, he basically said, he didn't basically say, he said black Americans don't have no culture. They not Jamaican. They not from Africa. You're just black and you don't have no culture, right? And y'all be letting these, y'all y'all find it funny how these people from the Caribbeans and from, you know, other continents and shit, um, from other places around the world, these quote unquote black people from all the other places around the world and shit, you notice how they automatically get on in America? You know what I'm saying? You know how they how they able to get on and shit and all that, and they put them on easily and all that shit, man, dude. A lot of they deem who hot like they was. I heard somebody say, "Well, DJ Alka, that be Bimix, he built this way." Oh no, no, they deem they buy these people out. They support these. They they uh put their support around these people. As long as you buffooning and raccooning, they they gonna put you where you be at. Now, if you talk some real stuff. You talk to real black people to galvanize and all that stuff, you a real threat, they not gonna let you grow. But what's so funny is he was talking about how black people ain't got no culture, but you playing uh, rap in the background. You know, you got Nicki Minaj on your show, you got all these different rappers that come on your show and all that type of shit, right? And you talking about ain't no culture. No, Jamaicans did not create motherfucking hip hop. Stop telling that lie, they did not. That is a myth. That is a lie. They did not create rap. They did not. And that's no knock to my Jamaican homies, but that's just not true. Right? That is just not true. They was rapping in the 50s and the fucking 60s. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. You know, he's oh, you don't have no culture. You know, he's not Jamaican. It's not, you're not from Africa. You're not African American. See, you know, and then they gonna continue to get more brownie points for saying shit like that. Oh God, damn! This train did not just catch me this morning. Bust this you Hopefully, no police. You know what I'm saying? So they they turn around and and and, and say, um. How we not cultured and all this type of shit, and, and we ain't got this, and, or we ain't that. But then you make your money based on black viewerships. You make your money based on our culture, hip hop, right? We built that. That's what I don't understand. And these are the people that y'all support, and they get the support, and they able to grow their audiences by. Being culture vultures, okay? Since you don't identify as being black American, right? You you don't identify with the hip hop culture for real. How are you any different from DJ Vlad? I'm telling y'all, y'all y'all be y'all just be allowing people to come into the and you know y'all don't allow people to come into the circle, man. Y'all sheep. Y'all don't allow people to come into the circle. You know, guys like Leo Corn and 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 the gatekeeper and other. And the big gatekeepers of hip hop and rap, they allow they allow people to come into the culture. Let, let's stop it, y'all. I mean, black people don't determine, you know, you know who hot and who not in hip hop. Let's keep it all the way uh, funky. We don't determine who hot and who not. The powers that be above hip hop who run hip hop determine who hot and who not in this game. They determined it. But for him to go on there with rap playing in the background, nah, play some Jamaican music, nigga. Play some Caribbean music. Do your streams from Bahama Breeze or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Have Supercat and Wayne Wonder and Sean Paul and, you know, he said, you're not Puerto Rican, have Daddy Yankee, have Pitbull. Come on your stream and see how many see see how your audience decline. I'm telling y'all, man, culture vulture just ain't limited to white people, bro. You know, Candace Owens quick to say, I'm from St. Thomas. You know what I'm saying? These niggas quick to say, I'm from Jamaica. I'm from Ghana. I'm from the Ivory Coast. They quick to say that. I mean, you know, I got a couple Africans that's kind of in my neighborhood, man, they don't fuck with, they don't fuck with, 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 with black people. I keep telling y'all that, bro. And you hear the stories from the continent, how they, 
you know, I was listening to a brother's story and he was basically saying that, you know, he went over to Africa and they told him it would be a, a certain amount of money to have a table and to get a table. But then again, he seen the uh, some white boys over there and they had to pay for shit for the table. They say they, they treat the white boys way better over there. They treat the Indians way better over there and they treat each other and black Americans like shit. Y'all just be thinking, because Eric, we are skin color like that they ride with it. I'm telling you, man, a lot of these dudes, if it come down to a war, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be over there with the men. They're going to be over there with the men, bro. They're going to be Samuel Jackson from Django, bro. Y'all got to watch who y'all support. But y'all, you know, black Americans, they take so much disrespect and they keep coming back. You know how they say you can dog a woman out? And they just keep, they keep coming back. But if you treat them nicely and, and, and you're nice and kind to them, you know, then they, they just not intrigued by them. That's black Americans, man. You dog, you dog them out and they just keep coming back. The whole Gucci thing, they bought more Gucci. They bought more Gucci, but then they want to try to be a spokesperson. Man, get out of here. And I keep telling y'all about, about these guys, man. Y'all talking about y'all want to fix the culture. Y'all, y'all, they come in and, and they allow these guys to get on. These guys ain't on off talent. Y'all ain't figured that out yet. These academics ain't got no talent. Niggas trash. He don't know shit about rap, bro. He's a cornball. He ain't even got a proper lineup, my, my G. Ain't nothing swag about him. Ain't nothing fresh about him. Ain't nothing cool about him. Even his voice sounds like a nerd. That Kai dude, I watched this show with some women before that was watching the show. It's nothing fun or intriguing about the show. Him sitting in the basement acting like a clown. He has no talent. They put these people here to deceive you guys. They put these people here to determine what's hot and what's not. And when they done with them guys, they're gonna chew them guys and spit them out and hopefully they saving their money. They're put there. They're put there. Listen to your boy. They're allowed to be there. And a lot of people are sheep, bro. They are. But for him to go out there and say that, it, it doesn't surprise me, bro. Anybody that's getting a, a, a good amount of money and been funded by the powers that be, bro, come on. And then a person that screenshotted it got, to, got it taken down. It got taken down. You're not Caribbean. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not Dominican. You're not from Africa. You know what I'm saying? You're on culture. But then again, you plan, you making your money off our culture. Hip hop is not Caribbean. It's not Jamaican. No matter if y'all want to go overseas, y'all want to rap and do the shit that we do. Fuck that. We the most treated niggas in, the, in, in, in here. Hip hop so influential. Y'all all wearing handbags and tight jeans and shit. Come on, man. These dudes going to get a, uh, 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 they going out here to get a, uh, uh, passport. All these women is feminists based off what's going on in America. You grill these dudes on the, on, on, on hip hop and historic, you know, historically about hip hop. You grew, you get these dudes a hip hop trivia, academics gonna fail. Kai gonna fail. They don't know nothing about the rap game. Nothing. Nothing about the R&B game. Nothing. Nothing. But for him to go on there and say that, and then he's going to have people who not even going to be offended. You're going to have people, you're going to have some people that's not even going to be offended by it. I don't care. Black people don't have no pride no more, bro. That's why I keep telling y'all, man. Damn. Freeway going to Traffic going back this way. Man, a lot of these dudes ain't got no, don't have no pride no more, bro. And that's exactly what they wanted. They got black men and black women beefing. They they getting everything they wanted out the deal. We all broken up. We don't have a sense of pride. You know, we don't stick together. We don't put our power, buying power within the hood. We go still support brands that disrespect us, that straight racist. You know what I'm saying? Shit is, shit is bananas, bruh.
This shit is truly bananas, man. What? You know, it is what it is, man. Uh, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video. Subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, check out the music and entertainment playlist. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Facebook, Kick, Twitch, uh, Instagram, everywhere Spotify, Podcast, Google Podcast. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Peace.